Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is actually Monday and I have a doctor appointment that I'm going to today and my cleaning girls are coming today. So what I wanted to do is do just a little bit of my Friday video today so that I could put some of this stuff away. So the first thing I wanted to show you is something I'm wearing today and it's these new Uggs. And you know how much I love the black ones and then you know how much I love these but these are not available anymore but it just seems like these go with so much of course black is going to be your first go-to for me and then I always like these but they don't offer these anymore and sometimes I really don't want this look like for today oh my gosh they're so good you know what the name of the color is <laughs> goat which maybe they're saying greatest of all time, maybe, but I love them. I, I put off ordering them, and I think they were even out of stock for a while, and I'm so glad I did. While I was on the website, I ordered my True Blue Classics. These are my favorites. I know everyone likes the minis, the platform, the this, the that. These are just the short, original Uggs in chestnut and to me these are like quintessential uggs like these are the chanel ballet flat of uggs they're like the classic and this is what i like when i'm wearing joggers like my aviator nation or the spiritual gangster because they come right down to this and i feel like they give that la vibe kind of like i was telling you with pamela anderson and that's what i like and it's just so easy i love these so i'm really excited that i got a new pair because it is getting cold here mother sent me this in pr they sent me the mother pucka last time which is like a lip ointment or lip conditioner and i have it upstairs and that's something you don't think about when you get nails is all the things that you used to just use freely, which, I mean, I just have to do that thing where I scoop with my nail, but it is an adjustment. Even like my eye cream and all of that stuff is different. But this is the Mother Body Butter. And it says that it's a glowing, glows best, introducing limited edition Mother body butter glow everything you love about our cult favorite body butter plus a hint of shimmering bronzer for a soft sumptuous glow whipped shea cocoa and mango seed butters i do have an event coming up so maybe i'll use this and see the practical virgo in me hates stuff that gets on clothes and even when i'm in a hotel i don't want to mess up their sheets but I might give this a try and just see how extreme it is. I do know when you use Sally Hansen Leg Spray or the Vita Labrata, it's not as bad as you would think. That stuff seals. And both of them, you have to wash them off when you get in the shower. It's not like you just get in the shower and it just runs right off. You have to wash it off. So I will use this soon and let you know. Let's just do a little bit... You think the bone scan people will notice if I'm glowing? <laughs> so here it is. And I will say, I expected it to be whippier than that. So let's see. Did I tell you I went to go get my nails filled in and they told me to come back and they weren't ready? So, oh my goodness. Okay. Wowza. I need to do this before every video. Okay. Look at that. Wow, even if you just did that, and this is probably what I'll do, is I'll just do it like maybe across my collarbone and just certain places, but just to have that on your hands is beautiful. So thank you to them for sending this to me. Another thing I wanted to show you because I have been wearing these and I wanted to tell you about them. Okay, first let's start with the one, the combo that I have on. 
Nude Envy sent me some of their latest, newest lip liners, and they sent me the owner's favorite lipstick shade. And you guys, mm, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's what I've got on today. Here is the lip liner that I'm wearing today. It's called Rich. And let's, we'll see how this swatches over my mother. So that is the lip liner. And then this is a must-have lipstick. It is from their new Berry Nudes collection. And the color is Love. And it is... Just absolutely gorgeous. I just, I mean, it's everything. It's so, it's better than Spanish pink and some of those. It is just gorgeous. And if you're not crazy about that shimmery foiled type look, okay, this, I, okay, I'm not going to say that, but all the other shimmery, Lipsticks like this, this blows them out of the water. All the other brands that you probably know what I'm talking about. I don't want to be mean, but this is just beautiful. I've worn this one, two, three. This will be probably my fifth day. I mean, I, every day I think about wearing this because it's just perfect. And then her favorite gloss to wear with it is this nude one called Illuminate. And I think if you don't want it to be quite as lip linery or you know frosty put the gloss on it or a gloss but I like it kind of frosty and kind of lip linery I do take the lipstick and go over the liner so it isn't you know I blend it but when you use the gloss of course it's going to just like if you were to have two dry ingredients and you put just a dab of water or milk in it and then you put it together it's going to create something different it is a good one for sure so let's swatch the other color lip liners because i like them all so the first one i used i think is classy they're all good you guys and I'm going to really try to do some good swatches. I heard you in that last video. And I'll be honest with you, some lipsticks and lip liners are just harder to swatch. But I will do the best that I can. Okay, Elegant. Oh my gosh. I mean, I get so excited because I always think, why can't people come out with more lip liners that are like this tone a little bit darker and peachy nude and pinky nude colors i'll get so excited when a collection drops and it's all dark colors and then i start thinking i must be the only one but then you look around and everybody so you know what i mean i'm just excited about these and the last one is spicy oh my goodness okay spicy Spicy is going to be the one for you if you're not really a lip liner girl, but you want to try them. I have to admit, that is a fabulous hand of lip products there. So Nude Envy, you did such a good job. Thank you, thank you. I want to start using this. I got it from Ulta in that sale, and I got it half off. And if you've never tried this, which is the Creme de Corps Lotion, this is an old, an old favorite of mine. And so it's one of those things where when I see it, you know, I'm funny what I'll pay for one thing, but I won't pay for another. When I see it, I always think I should try that again. And then I think, no, <laughs> it's too much. But let me show you on my other hand, it gives you a good glow too. I mean, it's not supposed to give you sparkle or anything, but I've always thought this made my skin look really good oh and that just reminded me i got something else to show you so here it is it just always ah oh, and it smells good okay i must have used this a lot in the summer because it's given me summer vibes and then look what i got it's the same brand as the necklace that 
If you didn't see, I'll put it up here, but my Amazon favorite purchases of the year, I have been so pleased with that necklace. And I've actually got on another one. This is the, do they call it 15 or 16 inch? The other one I have is the 18. And I want to try to create that look. Do you guys ever see that ad on Instagram? I think it's Diorsi or something like that. And I'm telling you, if they would have made it easier to communicate with them and for me to ask them exactly what that girl's got on each piece, because they don't, they won't take messages. Or if you could click on their link and it would show you that group, I would have gotten it. I, but I love it so much. I love that look. So I want to try to create it. So maybe later on in the week, I will try to do that. I think that's what's kind of cool too about when I do my Friday haul in little segments is I get to show you more outfits that I actually wear and you get to see different lip combos, everything. I think it's a win-win. Okay, and then da -da -da -da, another pair of my Avery PJs. I want to go ahead and wash these and get them going. I actually have the exact same ones, black and size small. And um, I have worn them out. They've got like runs in them. And after you wear them for a while, like I would say over a year and you wear them every night and you wash and dry them to the end, they can get a little, um, this waistband can get stretched out, but they come with this little silk case to put them in, which I do use these sometimes when I pack. And then here are the jammies. And I get asked all the time, what are my favorites? I do like the, there's, I've got, I've tried Free People. Those were pretty good. They were just a little too flowy. I've tried Victoria's Secret. Those are good too. That would be a cheaper alternative, but they're still not the weight of these. There is something about the weight of these that makes them just better. Got on these satin pants from Gap. I love these, you guys. There's a pair of Jenny Kane pants that everybody loves, and they were always sold out when they were having their sale. And then I saw these on Gap, and they serve the exact purpose that I wanted the Jenny Kane ones for. I think the row makes some too, but it gives you that blousy, loose pair of trousers that look so good with a big, chunky sweater. And I can't remember, I think this might be, is it Everlane? I'm not sure who this sweater's from, but I'll have it all down below. And then underneath, I have on one of my Skims tees. I love these. They're so good to wear under something like this. It almost gives you, you know, of course, another layer and that silkiness that a sweater looks better over. And I love, I've got the nude, the brown, and the black one. And then of course I've got on my new Uggs. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have some good stuff. We have more lip products. I think it's just maybe that time of year that new lip products come out, but I am not complaining. And I was thinking yesterday when I told you guys about that jewelry company, it's called Dorsey. I think just Dorsey Diamonds. I cannot find that exact picture that I wanted to show you, but this is similar. And they also have, I think, a string of ruby, rubies, I guess, or red diamonds or whatever in there. And so I tried to kind of create that look for you today with the Amazon necklaces because I think they're fabulous. So that is, if you're wondering, boy, Lisa's going all out on the jewelry today. And then I'll go ahead and tell you that my earrings are the ideal diamonds, which are also the lab-grown diamonds that are like that jewelry company that I was telling you about. I don't think, I mean, I don't know about their quality. I just love that ad. I love that look. Okay, I've got so much here to show you. I will start off with some PR from M Cosmetics. This is the Portrait Mode Refining Setting Powder made with magic. I mean, look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. Their just designs and PR are so classy, chic, gorgeous, 
it just, when you see this, it makes you think that what the time that they put into their products are probably the same. Because you know what they say, the way you do one thing is usually the way you do everything. I am looking forward to trying this. I have not tried it yet because I had it out here to show you guys. It's a sheer powder. I wanted a setting powder that worked like a perfecting digital filter, but everything I tried was too heavy, drying, and overly matte with a powdery finish. After five years of development, I finally perfected the most elegant translucent powder texture, which has the oil control strength of a loose powder in a weightless pressed format. Michelle Fine. I'm going to go ahead and take a sharp, sharp turn and show you something else that Revolve sent me. They have their own limited edition Converse All-Star. I will put the name down here and they sent me a pair. What do you think? <laughs> Is it just my style? You know, I have bought several pair of the Chunky Converse. And so I do like the chunky Converse, but I don't know how this is going to look on me, but I know a lot of you can just rock it. What I was thinking of when I saw them, I was like, you know, the right person with that more rockabilly or even a Harley vibe, I think could really, really rock these. And of course, my daughter, who is 23, almost 24, really thought they were so cool. So I wanted to share these with you because they are a Revolve exclusive. I do think they're really cool. I guess I shouldn't knock it till I try it. Let me know down below if you would wear these. And if you did, what would you wear them with? And if you want to see them on me, what would you think that I should wear this with? My first instinct would be black leggings, a sweatshirt, and a moto jacket. Black moto jacket. That would be my first guess or jeans straight jeans a white t-shirt or sweatshirt and a faux fur like a brown faux fur that would be what I would go to first but Revolve doesn't sell anything that's not pretty much happening and in so I think that these are cool I just don't know if I'm cool enough to pull them off back to makeup this is something that I showed you guys last week and somehow, I don't know if I accidentally pressed the record or stop button or what, but somehow it wasn't in there. And it's this Clinique powder. It's called Defining Nudes and it is their cheek contouring palette. Okay, the reason I got this is years ago before YouTube, I got their palette that came out with that rock violet collection and it had that flower in it that was something like this that is when i first discovered the magic of contour and sculpting because for some reason that palette just automatically did it i had always taken bronzer and just kind of done it all over my face or maybe like even the three method but with that powder it the way it caught my cheekbones just gave me that Victoria's Secret look I had always wanted. So that's what I think about when I see this powder. So I purchased it that day at Dillard's and I have used it every day since. It is so pretty. And of course, it's cloudy outside today. I have to use artificial lights, but I'm hoping that you can see that I have this on. It's, let me swatch. This is the darker tone. And then I'm using this for the highlight and it's very soft. And then if you swirl them all together, you get that. And let's see. And I did hear you last week that you couldn't see the swatches well. So I'm hoping this camera seems to pick up swatches a little better. And another thing from last week I wanted to mention, these sunglasses. And I know you guys are just like, girl, get over the Vela sunglasses, but I feel like I have to get it through your head that these are buy one, get one free, and they are high quality sunglasses. So I was thinking to show you the difference today. These are a new pair of Amazon that I have, and the price difference, I mean, it's still a lot, but for you to be able to get these for $100, and then these are, I think, right around 20, if I had to say, these are plastic. These are like, see how they're like acrylic? 
these are so nice and this particular frame i think is amazing i love it i could wear these every day they fit my face so well they feel so good on they are just must have sunglasses remember i was kind of the same way with the Privé Revo, the Coco, and the Victoria. Those are my two best frames, or two most favorite frames, from Privé Revo. But they haven't really come out with anything good lately. But I still do recommend those. And then the key sunglasses that I love the most, the Paris Hilton Still Rich. Favorite sunglasses of all times. They quit making them. So I feel like I found so many goodies in this brand and I'm going to order some more that have like maybe nose pieces maybe aren't as out there because I know not everybody wants these I've had them all out here on my table so I could wear them I know these are a little radical for some of you and I don't and you just think they're pure ugly I I don't blame you we like what we like here are the Amazons and for the price I do feel like, you know, you get a lot of look. You could even get these or some of the other ones I showed in my Amazon favorites video. I'll put that up there. And you could see, like, do I enjoy wearing these? Do I think they're too crazy for me? How do I feel wearing these type of sunglasses? And then if you like them, you could get some of the others, but they might not be buy one, get one free. So I just wanted to show you that. This, this is something I have been loving you guys know I have partnered with Osea so many times. This is not a sponsored video. This is not a paid mention. This is just two products that I saw someone else on Instagram using. And I contacted them and said, can I try your eye products? So they sent them to me, I would say about a month ago, because it was before I got nails. Now I, I think I've mentioned, there's a different challenge when you get nails. You can't just dip your finger in there like always, but I do have like this little scooper thing that I use that's in that bag of my skincare. Love this. This is the Osea Advanced Repair Eye Cream. It's a very, I would say, this is the one I use at night. It's a very, oh my gosh, it's like velvet. I don't know if you can tell. Just that little bit of how I rubbed it in. So I put just a dab, a dab, and then I do like this and then I go over my eyebrows because it will kind of seep down onto your eyelids and I use that at night and then in the morning I've been using this which is the Osea and this is their Ocean Eyes. It is their Age Defense Eye Serum and this it's hydrating. Let's see what it says here. It addresses all signs of aging around the eyes including the look of fine lines, crow's feet, and dark circles. But what I love about it is I don't have to scoop anything or do anything. I literally just go like this and then I go all around my eye. And then I just kind of rub it in my brows and under my eyes. And it has not messed up my concealer or foundation one time. I was thinking, should I make a whole video about this? And I still might do it. I might try it with some of the lipsticks that I have used that have not been quite what I want but whoever told me about the wet and wild multi-stick this is mother of pearl is what this is this is your dupe for the Dior lip product and when I got it in I could not believe my eyes so this is the ultra white from Dior and I've stopped at a few stores I cannot find this in my store I don't know and I couldn't find it on Walmart online i ordered from amazon this is the wet and wild pearl it is so good so let me first start by showing you two mario lipsticks that i ordered these are from that same collection the first one is south shore and let me swatch it here and then the other one is bronx baby and i'm gonna swatch it next so south shore the top Bronx baby let's see the Dior and then the wet and wild didn't stop there I got two new lip liners that Mario came out with and the first one I'm gonna swatch is I think it's called smoky pink I mean just the name smoky pink 
makes me know I'm going to like it. So today I have on Smoky Pink and Bronx Baby right here. That is what I am wearing. And I'm not crazy about it, but I wanted to fix it with you and show you what I would do. The next lip liner I have, Spiced Chai. Said that wrong. So Spiced Chai and South Shore. So the bottom line is you need both these lip liners for sure. They're so good. This is going is just a little too dark for me. And then the lip liner that I used with it was not quite dark enough. So let me show you what I would do. The first thing I would do in this case is I would kind of aggressively blot off that lip combo. And then today I do have this palette on my lids. I saw on probably Instagram that he was using that color like all across this girl's eye. I wanted to do that so bad, but when I put it all across my eye, it didn't look the same. But in his defense, I didn't have a primer on. So I've got on that color all over, and then I did a little bit of that and a little bit of that. But this is just a gorgeous palette. It's the Ethereal Eyes. So what I would do now is I would take the Spiced Chai and I would reline my lips right over that I wouldn't don't remove it because then you're I don't know it doesn't go on the same so there we go so that is the lip liner okay now I'm going to take South Shore and use that now so I want you to see that see that's a little that's just kind of dull I don't really like that as much so now I can take this little pencil and lighten it up some in the center and I don't know, it doesn't look as pretty as it did the other day. I put it over a peach lipstick. So let me do another one on my hand because I want you to get the true, I know what I'll do. I will use one of those Clinique pop lipsticks. Hold on. Okay, so I blotted that off a little bit. I'm not going to go back in with another liner right now because I want, to, want you to be able to see the color. Okay, this is Petal Pop. It's the one with the most color from last week. Okay, so we go there. But see, to me, that's still so drab. So I would come in with the darker lip liner and define my lips like that. A little bit more contrast. Now, I don't want to put too much. And then brighten that center. See how that just makes it so much better? Oh my gosh, this is such a good product. Now, if you don't want the shimmer then I would do the primer that I showed you that last week, the Kiss Kiss from Guerlain. Okay, so there's Petal Pop. And just go in the center and add a little bit of this, and it will give you that dimension. I hope you can get the idea. You kind of have to do it to see. Okay, here's the thing. When you, you know, look at or click on or anything, a pair of sunglasses, or you go on their website, you know what happens. All the other ones come up. But I have ordered before from Q. They're very, like a similar vibe to Vela, but more expensive. And I don't know, but I just saw this particular color, which is going to be very specific. You're going to like it or you're going to hate it. And I kept seeing this ad go by and I kind of liked it. So I ordered them. They're these kind of mossy green sunglasses. And they're called Rio. And I think they're pretty cool. What do you think? Like with the right outfit, I think they look good with all black. And I love, they feel so good. So if the green isn't your thing, which I understand, then even the black. But they are, they're very nice too. Let me think. Yeah, these are just sturdy and nice. And it's not that, you know, it, you get what you pay for. Nine times out of ten, you get what you pay for. Okay, and for my outfit of the day, I was, I went on Pinterest because I wanted to do an inspired outfit. And I found a really cool outfit with Victoria Beckham. And she just had on solid black, a black shirt, probably a different fabric from this. But I love this one. It's from Everlane. These are my pants my I think it's the ever I can't remember the ever ready it's one of the pair of pants from Aritzia and then these are a pair of Jimmy Choo that I got last year or the year before but just a simple chic outfit of the day 
and the sunglasses. What sunglasses am I going to wear? Let's try them all. I don't know. I don't know if these look the best with black. You know what's going to look best are going to be these. Victoria, what would you wear? I think she would wear these. <laughs> and then you guys already know my jewelry, my wolf ring. Hey guys, happy Friday again. I just have one package that I want to unbox with you from Dean Davidson. I have not opened this. I just got it yesterday and I thought we would open it together. Iconic every day to Lisa with love. Meet the heart collection. Four new pieces for the love season. And I love Valentine's Day. I always have. Introducing the heart collection featuring handcrafted heart shapes, a bold red gemstone, and a first for us, enamel. Oh gosh, I love enamel jewelry. That's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is precious. And it is adjustable. His adjustable is this little bead and you just, is that you just pull it? Yeah, you just pull the chain through the bead to make it whatever size. And this is like the signature necklace, but this is in a heart shape. That is so pretty. I love how delicate it is. That's what makes it so pretty. That is beautiful. And then good things come in small little packages. Let's see what's in here. Okay, these are the earrings to match. Just like the knockout studs. And I would say this is about the size of the midi, the medium. You know, I like the big, great big knockout studs, the black ones and the clear ones. This is like the midi size. Let's open the other package. I hope that I got something with some enamel on it. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is another earring, but it is a hoop that opens like this, which I love. And then it snaps back. And then that is the hoop. And it looks like this from the side. That is so cute. Huh. Okay, let's let's change them out. Let's put these in. I'm curious about these. Okay, the ones I have in now are the Miranda Fry. And I do like these. These are kind of like right on trend with the 90s, chunkier earrings coming back. Just like something I would have worn and my mom would have worn. What I did is I put the heart hoop in that ear, and then I put the stud in this ear so you could see both. And I think I still prefer the studs. I think I do, but these are cool and different. And it would depend too, like if you have shorter hair, you wear it up a lot, it is cool to see it from the side. But I think I just really like studs lately for some reason, I've always loved his studs. Okay, and then is there one more thing in here? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my favorite. By far, no doubt about it, this is my favorite. It's the ring and it's the enamel. <gasps> Yay! Okay, let me take off. Okay, this ring was my Miranda Fry Lisa ring. So let's, this must be about a seven. I love it, I love it. Okay, the ring's my favorite. The ring is definitely my favorite. Yay, I love this. And it can be layered with things too. So thank you, Dean. If you've been with me, you know, Dean and I have been together for a long time and I appreciate him sending that to me. And then a few little updates. You know, I can't let you go this easily. One thing, okay, this is my other camera that I typically use. Before this was a new camera. Tell me which one you like better because there's advantages to both of them. I really feel like the other one maybe zooms in a little better and it has a better microphone, but I just think this one's like a better picture. I don't know, let me know. So I wanted to tell you that. Oh, and then this lip combo. Today, I needed to like my lip combo. I have those days where I'm trying this, I'm trying that, I'm showing you this, I'm showing you that, and then I get to the point where, okay, I need to bring it back to something I know that I'm gonna like. So this is actually the new Mario lip liner in the Spiced Chai with the Clinique Sugar Pop, which is a pink. It's a very, it's a pinky pink. Like it's not nude, it's not beigey pink, it's pink. And then I put that Wet n Wild in the center. So I felt like when I watched the footage back yesterday that the Wet n Wild thing didn't really, it wasn't as good as the first time I tried it because the first time I tried it, I think it was with a peach lipstick. 
And I will say it's not as emollient as the Dior. Like all in all, the Dior's better, of course. But that does give you that look. I was thinking what might have made it look better yesterday is if I had put a little bit of gloss on before I used that pencil. But all in all, it's worth what you pay for that pencil just to have it to play with. So I will, of course, leave all the information down below. You guys, I just remembered I forgot to show you my outfit. It's nothing, believe me, it's nothing monumental, but it is my moto jacket. This is the, oh, I always want to say Aritzia, but it's the All Saints. I believe it's called the Balfern. Yeah, I believe it's called the Balfern, and this is the one with the gold. And then this is, you guys remember these sweaters from last year, the J. Crew cashmere. So just the best sweaters ever. And then the sweatpants I have on today are the Aviator Nation. And these are my favorites with the lightning bolt down the side. And then these are my black Uggs. And these are actually not the short, but the next one down. And I do like these. I like these better than the ones that are like this. And it's very cold here today. Just for old time's sake, let me give you the old lady with the report. John and I, we crack each other up sometimes. It is amazing how we started saying the same things that our parents do. Or, you know, things that we used to laugh at his parents because his parents were my grandparents' age. And we laugh at things that they say, oh my gosh, you guys, 27 degrees. I cannot believe it. I didn't know it was this cold. Wow. Okay. It is sunny, but 27, high 41. Hmm. I'm not going to go many places today. I only have one place to go. Very casual, as you can see. And then I'll probably get my McDonald's and come home. So again, thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.